In this video I will show you how to simulate mouse events with Python, including mouse clicks, movements and scrolls. I will be using Python 3.5 to do this. Next we'll use pip to install the pyimpit module. To check if pip is set up, open cmd and type pip. If no errors appear, you're good. If you don't have pip set up, you can watch my video of how to set up pip. I'll put the link in the description. Now we can install pyimpit by typing pip install pyimpit. Watch the output for any significant errors at the end. If all goes well, it'll say that pyimpit was successfully installed. To test that it was installed correctly, open the python IDLE and execute import pyimpit. I'm going to use the python shell to demonstrate this video. This is so I can execute each statement at a time. This will still work in a normal python script. I've also got a yellow circle around my mouse to more easily identify the mouse since it's going to be jumping positions. Import button and controller from pyimput.mouse at the top. Then make a variable called mouse and set it to controller. First we can find the current position of the mouse by using mouse.position. This prints a tuple of x and y coordinates. To move the mouse to a new location we can set mouse.position to a new tuple of x and y coordinates. This will move the mouse instantly with no animation. To move the mouse relative to where it is currently, we can use mouse.move. By providing two integers, we can say what way to move. If I wanted to move right by 20 pixels and up by 13, I would use 20 and negative 13 as demonstrated. To click buttons, we can use mouse.click. Providing this a button and an amount, we can press the button as many times as we like. This allows us to do single, double, and even triple clicks. This method supports the three mouse buttons and can do any amount of clicks at a time. If you want to press and release buttons so you can drag things, you should use mouse.press and mouse.release. These methods need a button passed to them so they know what button to press and what button to release. To scroll you need to use mouse.scroll. This takes two integers of where to scroll. The first integer is the right to left scroll and the second is the up and down scroll. Passing 0 and 2 will scroll up two steps. Be aware that you may need to use larger values for the scroll based on sensitivity settings. Head over to my newly developer site Nitrotine to look at a written tutorial and the code for this video. Also if you want to find out how to track mouse clicks, check out my mouse logger video.